Good morning, I'm Kensei and welcome to Dragon Trick. Almost six months ago, I started my Appalachian Trail adventure in Georgia. Since then, I've hiked 447.4 miles. I became ill, I injured my foot, I was attacked and got a herniated lumbar disc. I hiked a day's worth without water and I had many great experiences. In Vermont, I decided to start cherry picking and do the important part first and the rest as time and money would allow. This may have been a life-saving decision since Vermont after that became destroyed by rain and we were warned about a number of water sources that were too deep and too fast. On the other hand, cherry picking means hiking fewer miles at a greater cost. When I was in New York recuperating from my herniated disc, my adventure changed again. I watched too much YouTube and too many YouTube shorts during that period, but one of them talked about doing that which you are passionate about and not, so to speak, wasting time on doing other things or less important things. And what I'm passionate about is writing. I enjoy writing, I want to write, and at that moment I knew I needed to go home to write. Not right away, I could still do the important things. You can see that change when I hiked Harriman Park, because I saw it with the eyes of a writer instead of the eyes of a hiker. And I included some of the things I saw in my mind's eye just to show you why I loved hiking there. The second day when I hiked the northern part of Harriman Park, I cut all of those references out. When I was in Harper's Ferry and called Baxter State Park, I found out that my Swedish address prevented me from summiting Katahdin. And so I decided to postpone hiking in Maine to some other point. And that is, I don't know. And as I continued going south, I remembered my initial return ticket. Because when you visit the US, you need to buy a return ticket. And, and the further south I came, I decided to use that. Since I got here in the middle of March, I figured it, it would be in the middle of September. But it was in the early September. As a matter of fact, when this is published, I will already be in Europe, which meant that I would have to miss some of the important parts that I wanted to hike, unfortunately. Right now, all I really know is that I need to go home and write, and I'm looking forward to that. My mother, of course, loves the decision. She wanted me to stay at home from the beginning, not because she doesn't want me to have an adventure, but because she wants me to be safe. And the only way she can guarantee that I am safe is if I was at home. You already know that uh, I wasn't exactly safe the entire time, but that's what you get when you go on an adventure. To the walker who was passing through the gates, and the guy wanted to remove her so that he could go in first. And I didn't like him trying to bully her, and one of my pet peeves is not paying for your fare. So I put myself in between the two of them, made sure he couldn't get to her, and she had the chance to go inside unmolested. 
and he wanted to walk away and talk to me because he was upset that I was messing with him. I didn't want to walk away from, from the MARTA station over the gate because I knew that he wanted to fight me. Because he, he had a very aggressive tone and, and uh, stands. And when I wasn't walking away with him, he asked me what, what stopped him from hitting me in the face. I told him nothing. And he asked me again and again, I told him nothing. And, and that calmed him down. And by this time, she was long gone. And, and so I uh, had done what I set out to do. Again, not thinking of the consequences, uh, just doing what I felt was the right thing to do in the moment. Sometimes that doesn't turn out very well for me. I got a herniated lumbar disc as a consequence for that. But you gotta do what you gotta do. And if it's the right thing to do, you gotta do it. You don't know what you're going to get. It's not going to end up the way you thought it would when you started. You don't think that the most photographed part of the Appalachian Trail McAfee snob is going to be a disappointment, which it was. And you don't know what you don't know. I didn't know that I had to climb almost vertically to get up to the fire tower at the 100 mile marker because no one had shown me that. And I have had so many experiences. I've loved my time on trail. Not all of it, obviously, because who, who loves to be attacked and slammed into the ground and get a herniated lumbar disc? But overall, it's been an awesome experience. I have a ton of stories to tell, and uh, I've enjoyed sharing my experience with you. And now my time on the Appalachian Trail is over. And I can go home and write, and, and that is the best decision for me. Hiking the Appalachian Trail is not for everyone. It was for me for a while. And now it's time to go home and do something that I find more important and more enjoyable. Back to my desk, back to my computer, and doing the writing that I love to do. And yes, I went here because I was passionate about hiking the Appalachian Trail and I wanted to do that. And I did that, almost 450 miles of that. But that isn't what I want to do anymore. I had overcome all of these trials and tribulations, and I could have overcome the rest, but I have more important things to do, and it's time to go home and do them. Obviously, others could make a different decision. Some never decide to hike the Appalachian Trail because it's not for them. Some decide to hike all of it because that's what they want to do. That's what I wanted to do when I started this six months ago. It's no longer what I want to do. I want to go home. I want to write. And if that hadn't been an overarching passion of mine, if that wasn't something I wanted to do more than I wanted to hike the Appalachian Trail, I would still be here. But it's not, and I need to go home. Hi, this is Editing Can Say. Unfortunately, I forgot to shoot an ending of uh, today's hike. So keep on checking.